Some Machu and Kiri from the New Zealand Academy that's associated with the Junior Darts Corporation, uh, Tol Matarau. How are things going in New Zealand, folks? Kia ora. Um, Kia ora. <laughs> they're going awesome. <laughs> We're doing really well at the moment here in New Zealand. Um, yeah, um, with everything that's happening with the pandemic, uh, pandemic worldwide, um, we're doing really, really well here in New Zealand. So, it's yeah, it's been awesome. Good evening. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, it's 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 morning for us and 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 a good evening for you. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure from our perspective seeing you uh, and working alongside you for for, for quite a while now. Um, yeah. But. Um, just, just, just to give an insight to those that are watching this, you know, what you guys do there, I mean, we have academies in Europe and we have academies uh, mm -hmm. in, in other parts of the world. Yours um, is, is quite a large one. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is yeah. a large one. But, you know, first of all, first of all we've got to thank you. Yeah. You know, you believed in us um, from all the emails and <laughs> the correspondence that were going back and forth. So you can go thank you, fellas, um, for giving us the opportunity. Um, yeah, it is, it is a big one. It is a big one, but um, it, it's it's like a big family as well. Um, you know, I don't know if you've if you fellas have seen the interviews that we have had. Um, and we said in there that like most of our kids, are, it's a family presence, um, and darts is the vehicle. So mm. if we can put two and two together and make it work, yeah, why not? So where where where? Where did you guys get involved in darts? Is it something that's been in your family or is it something you played and, and, and why did you think about setting up a darts academy? So, um, so I was brought up around um, darts and that would have been from my parents and grandparents mm -hmm. um, here in Gisborne. Um, so being around um, darts um, all my life um, and then Myself and my partner, um, our foundation is Kapaka, which is performing arts. Right. Um, and we just wanted to get into something a little different. So we went back to, I'd say, uh, roots of my family, yeah. <laughs> um, which is darts. Um, we got involved uh, and we really started to um, want to get more involved with helping uh, youth and juniors uh, that play darts. Yeah. Um, our profession is working with youth um, in the education system, so um, that passion fused with our foundation of performing arts and our culture, we decided to um, put together a leadership program um, that infused culture with the game of darts. Um, so we decided to create that leadership program. Um, Right from the beginning would have, um, we started at um, a local club and we were really uh, amazed by the natural talent that is around Gisborne with all our juniors and youth um, and just the progress that they were making in New Zealand arts um, at the junior and youth level. So we decided that we wanted to help a lot of our whānau out, our families yep. around, New Zealand, around Gisborne first and created a leadership program and try to see how that would work. <laughs> and it did really well. It has worked. I mean, you've, you've, <laughs> how, how, many, how many kids do you get? Like 40, 50, 60? I don't know, there's, there's some loads. Uh, well, if we have right from our right from the get-go which yeah. would have been around 2016 we started with leadership programs um and right up to now um all kids that have engaged we would have engaged over 100 over 100 kids um within the programs uh those um kids that are involved with um darts now uh, we have over 30 over 30 kids, yeah, but fully cool. engaged in Tomatra over the past three years would have to be over 100 kids. Mm. Uh, that's great, but brilliant work, brilliant work. So uh, you, you, you've given all these great opportunities to these, um, to these youngsters, um, and you've found any particular darting stars, anybody that sort of shone over the last 12 months or so? 
Oh, there's been a few. Yes, there's there, a few. There's, a, there, there, there's quite a <laughs> there's bit. Quite a few. There's, there's quite mm -hmm. a bit. And, and they also come from families that are, are quite prominent in the darting scene around Gisborne. Yeah. Um, uh, Isles, Farno. Um, we also have young Jack Shepherd um, that you would have met last year. Yeah. Uh, around the Super 16. That's right. Um, yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of, lot of rising stars. Yeah, great stuff. Well, you know, without people like you, we don't find them. Uh, you know, the, the, the opportunity for people to walk into the door and have a go, and we sort of sometimes unlock this amazing talent, uh, and it's thanks to, to you and all the other coaches around the world looking after these youngsters. Um, you also, um, being part of the uh, affiliated to the JDC, um, mm. how, are you, how are you finding that? It's such a distance. I mean, obviously, we've got opportunity to meet probably at a World Championship or something, but generally speaking, we're working at distance. It's funny how now, because of lockdown, everybody's working at distance. So this is something yeah. that you're obviously quite used to doing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it, I think um, the communication um, from yourself and the team um, and to with us being so far away, mm. that's it's helped it to work really well. Um, it, it is a bit challenging because there's so many things yeah. that we would like all of our members to be a part of, part of you. Um, yeah. especially with the JDC tours and the everything. Green like tours. The Green Zone tours. Yeah, so there's a lot of those things that we'd wish um, our members could be a part of. But getting back to the distance, I think if um, I honestly know that the communication that the JDC team have with us uh, has just been really, really fluid. And it's just helped us so much to be able to connect, mm. make sure that everything's on point, what we need to do. Yeah. Um, and if there wasn't that good communication, then I think we'd be struggling a little. So if we do, if you know that we're doing all right, <laughs> it's you and us. <laughs> it's a team, team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it is. And, you know, we're, we're, we're all, I think generally all we're trying to do is make the best uh, of a situation here at the minute with this uh, with these current situation but generally speaking we just want to put the kids first obviously that's the that's the main thing um, but it is nice to hear that the, the, the other side of the world can still um partake and, and feel part of it which is wonderful in fact being part of it uh, did you win an award last year yes we did <laughs> we did um jdc international academy of the year um as, as an honor um it, Huge we're very humbled very humbled with the the award that we achieved last year yeah um it was a good pat on the back for all the hard work that all the families and parents and supporters that have always been there 100 percent for the kids um it was a good pat on the back for for all of us just to know that all the hard work that has gone in um we got a, I got a I really deserve it. It was a, it was a yeah. no brainer. I think um, I was sat amongst the panel of all these people that were voting for you, and I, and I, and I, and I sort of sort of saw the envelope with your your name on the back. I was like, yeah, that's thoroughly really deserved. Um, but also, you are, you have the opportunity now. Obviously, probably uh, this year is going to be a bit different. But you also managed to take yeah. the kids to the um, New Zealand Masters for the um, for the World Series. Yes. Yeah, that 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 that, that, that looked fun. Was amazing. It was an amazing opportunity. Um, again, thanks to the um, JDC for helping us to be able to provide that that amazing opportunity for our for our kids. They thoroughly enjoyed it. They were dancing all over the place every time one of their favourite players came out. Mm. They were standing up with all their 180 signs. They knew all the songs. They dressed uh, up. They dressed up. Good. Yes, <laughs> standard. Really good. <laughs> Well, they you know, all the, the thanks down. to these guys, really, it's it's more more to do mm. with them. I mean, they're they're embracing of uh, of the junior game as well. So, um, but standard. Yeah, the PDC were really were really awesome when we arrived as well. Um, they were there waiting for us when we um, arrived with the with the kids. Tickets. Yeah, wow. with the tickets and um, but again, it was an amazing opportunity um, because Gisborne is so isolated. We are on the furthest. Um, point on the east coast of, yeah, yeah. of the North Island. Um, so it was a bit of a trip. It was a bit of a travel. It took us around five, five hours to 
to get them there straight after school. Um, we got there and we had enough time to have some dinner and, yeah. and get straight get to the yeah. venue. Um, and so that was awesome. But the players were awesome as well. We mm. had a meet and greet with uh, some of our New Zealand players and also Cole Anson, who was a champ, yeah. and um, came to give some encouraging words to our members um, and just talk some some life some some life events that have happened that our, our members were able to relate to yeah, um, yeah. Uh, growing yeah. up around darts mm, okay. it was nice. so what's the plan uh for the next uh, sort of few weeks because you're in a different scenario situation sorry uh, to us where you're these levels you know you're on two mm. i think we're still on 102 uh you know we're all locked down still technically I think. Uh, yeah. How are things in New Zealand now? You're you're up and running, in, and and I believe you did a session today. Or yeah, sorry, today, yeah. Yeah, today. Yeah. yeah. So as of um, as of last week, we our alert levels were changing, and so were the restrictions. Um, so last week we were told that we were able to have group gatherings of a hundred. Um, no. And no more. So straight away, as soon as we knew that, um, we started setting up for our academy to come back in. Um, it was a bit of a process for us to start the ball rolling, but yeah. we have a, a really good support group with all the parents mm. yep. who helped us to plan everything. Um, and still, a, it was able. We were able to put all the guidelines in place um, following our COVID website, um, and also where we are situated, which is at a tertiary provider, uh, education provider. Uh, they had guidelines as well. So it took yeah. us around a week to put everything in place um, before our academy members could come back in. So of course we had to start getting everything, putting our posts up on Facebook, making sure that everybody knew all the steps that, we're gonna, um, that we were gonna take to be able to have our academy session today. Brilliant. So we finished about three hours ago. <laughs> yeah. I woke three up this morning eat, eating my cereal, watching <laughs> things coming through. <laughs> Basically, you're 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 our um you're sort of like a, a part of our breakfast. Um, when we <laughs> my first coffee of the day, which is probably I should have had more. Um, but anyway, um, anyway, I'm sure everybody wants to know. Hmm. Do, who's the best dart player out of you two? Oh, I am. Oh, I, <laughs> she wants to be. As she wants to be. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I am. Will there someone else answer that? Hey, um, just, just, just before I let you go, just honestly, seriously, a huge thank you. I know that people from around the JDC, the academy coaches, and people that have talked to you on Facebook Messenger, whatever it is, uh, would all love to give you a massive hug and say, "Great to see you. I'm glad you're all safe, uh, and you're now operational." We are envious. We just want to get going. Um, thank you so much for what you do. And um, hopefully we'll catch up very soon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for everything as well. You, Steve Brown, all the team. You fellas work really hard. Really hard. No, it's, and it's, it's a all pleasure. Communication, all the hard work. And we're just privileged to be a part of it. Especially the opportunities that you provide for our junior dart players around the world. And... Um, just a big thank you on behalf of our members to all the other academies as well because we all keep in touch. Yeah, it's mm. just a big family, JDC yeah. family. Brilliant. Always. Thanks, guys. Take care. <laughs> you Peace. too. Bye. Bye.